One question that we get asked um, fairly often is, if we have a Google Analytics property already created, is there a way to add a second website to it? And the answer to that is yes. So here you can see that um, we have a property and uh, an account created for my client here. Um, so they have a second website. So what we wanna do is actually create a second property under the account. So you're gonna click on, uh, you're gonna go to the admin section, click on create and uh, click on property. And then for this property, uh, this is going to be uh, their second website. And uh, you'll select the time, uh, the currency, and um, again, you will select what type of category they fall into as well as the business size. And for this one, again, we wanna get reports and examine user, user behavior. And then uh, again, we'll click on web. And I'm just gonna go to go high level. I'm gonna grab this website's homepage. We're gonna come back to analytics. We're gonna type that in. We're gonna get rid of the beginning and we're gonna get rid of the end and we're just gonna have it go to the full domain there. And uh, we'll just put in the name again. And click create and continue. All right, so Google created that property for us and now we go. We need to add the Google tag. Uh, so again, we're gonna install this manually. Click on copy, go back to go high level and uh, in the website settings, the main settings, click on settings, go to the head tracking code, paste that in and click save. This applies to the entire website. All right, that change was saved. Let's go back to Google Analytics. And uh, now we're going to say test installation. All right, it says the tag was correctly detected. Click on confirm. And uh, now you can see that we have the additional tag created. If we go back to analytics, uh, you can we can also see that uh, our one client has these two properties. So um, you can see that this was the original one, and then this was the one that we just added. So uh, you know, if you have two websites or three websites or however many websites you have, you can create um, one account and then you'll create the properties underneath them and each property should be its own website.